Om Shanti. Today is Independence Day, Tuesday, the 15th of August, 2023. On our Independence Day, let us listen to the Sakar Murli from our beloved Bap Dada. Bap Dada Madhuban. Essence. Sweet children, the form of the father is a point. To recognize him accurately and remember him is to be sensible. Essence on this Tuesday morning, Baba says, Sweet children, the form of the father is a point. To recognize him accurately and remember him is to be sensible. Today's question, what is the meaning of a dream when we look at it in an unlimited way? Why is this world said to be like a dream? In answer, Baba says, a dream means that which has passed. You now know that this whole world is like a dream of everything that has passed from the golden age to the end of the iron age and you have now become aware in a second of the dreamlike world. By knowing the beginning, the middle and the end of the world, the incorporeal world, the subtle region and the corporeal world, you have become master gods. Today's song is Who has come to my door with the sound of ankle bells? Om Shanti Shiv Baba sits here and explains to his sweetest children to you the long lost and now found Saligrams. Saligrams are the children of Shiv Baba. You know, you children know, Baba says, that the one whom no one knows the slightest is teaching you. What do we know? Baba says, you children know that the one whom no one knows the slightest is teaching you. People go to a Shiva temple and they see such a huge lingam image there. They don't understand that their Baba is a point. The children who remember or must have been remembering Shiva Baba and considering him to be that big are innocent because they are wrong. The father explains, I am a point. How can anyone understand a point? Although some say that he is constantly a form of light, that he is so and so, that is not so. He is a point. It is very difficult to remember him. They repeatedly forget him. On the path of devotion, people have the habit of offering flowers to a shivalingam and worshipping it. And so they remember that. However, they repeatedly forget that their Baba is a point. He plays the part he has in the whole drama. Would they sit and praise a point saying that he is the ocean of happiness and the ocean of peace? He is such a tiny point. Children ask, whom should we keep in our minds? Only sensible children would be able to understand this. Otherwise, they would just remember that lingam image of Shiva. Sri Krishna can sit in their intellects very well. But this one is a point. In the song, it is said that even when you try to remember him, you can't remember him. And so, what is his face like? This is so wonderful. He is such a tiny point. He performs the dance of knowledge. It is said, this is a world of dreams. Anything that has passed is said to be a dream, a dreamlike world. Whatever has passed, it enters your intellects. Brahman, the incorporeal world, the subtle region, the golden age, the silver age, the copper age, etc. The whole of it has become a dream. Anything that has passed becomes a dream. It is now also the end of the Iron Age. This is a dreamlike world. Those dreams you have are limited. Baba says the unlimited enters your intellects. The sun and moon dynasties have also become dreams. This is called a world of dreams. No one apart from you children knows these secrets. There was so much happiness in the golden age. All of that has become the past. You children now have the knowledge 
you children baba says now have the full knowledge of the beginning the middle and the end in your intellects there should be the remembrance of only the one father no one else can explain what the father explains you have the world of dreams in your intellects your intellects know all the things that have become the past you have all this knowledge from the top to the bottom in your intellects from the beginning to the end you have now become trikaldarshi and triloki nath by becoming triloki nath it is as though you have become gods god sits here and gives you teachings you have a dream in a second therefore you should remember the seed and the tree in a second baba also says i have the knowledge of the beginning the middle and the end this is why i am called the ocean of knowledge knowledgeful or jani jananhar that is one who knows all the secrets within you he knows what everyone's stage is like what is baba referring to baba says i have the knowledge of the beginning the middle and the end this is why i am called the ocean of knowledge knowledgeful jani jananhar that is the one who knows all the secrets within you he knows what everyone's stage is like why would i sit and look at each one's stage whatever stage each of you had in the previous cycle you are in that stage now you also know that in order to inspire you to make effort he says make effort very well you now have to become spinners of the discus of self realization you know about the things that have become the past deities used to rule in that way and they will come and rule again you will continue to remember the past present and future what will we do baba says you will continue to remember the past present and future this is called the discus of self realization people are used to remembering a shivalingam image therefore they believe that baba is a jyotilingam or oval shaped image of light if you were to call him a point people would become confused they believe that souls are tiny and that the supreme soul is big you children now know that there is so much pomp and show in this iron aged world at this time this is called the pomp and show of maya the pomp of maya they say that the world has now become very good there are now huge palaces there is so much pomp and show in america so many beautiful things are made we understand that these things are just gilded and will soon be destroyed day by day they build such tall buildings and dams etc as though it is a completely new world people are under the influence of maya what is baba saying day by day they build such tall buildings and dams etc as though it is a completely new world people are under the influence of maya this is the pomp and show of the devilish community all of it is magic it will soon vanish it is in the intellects of the great scientists who have the arrogance of science that all of it will be destroyed they tell one another do not interfere otherwise everything will be destroyed baba gives the example of america now america considers itself to be powerful and so there must surely be someone second in line who would then confront it it is remembered that the two cats fought the yadavas destroyed their own clan so they are the two cats this is happening in a practical way now you children know that you took this knowledge at this time in the previous cycle too you are now taking it again the father comes and explains all of this knowledge it is in the intellects of you children in the same way as it is in the father's intellect the point is called shiva the whole part is recorded in the soul you have all round parts from the golden age to the iron age at the time when you experience happiness in the golden and silver ages the father has no part what is baba saying at the time when you experience happiness in the golden and silver ages 
द फादर हैज नो पार्ट द फादर सेज यू हैव बिगर पार्ट्स देन आई डू यू स्टे इन हैप्पीनेस वेर एज आई स्टे इन द लैंड ऑफ निर्वाणा आई डू नॉट हैव एनी पार्ट एट दैट टाइम यू हैव प्लेड ऑल राउंड पार्ट्स एंड सो यू आर द वंस हु आर टायर्ड दैट इज वाई इट इज रिटर्न दैट गॉड मसाज डूर फीट सो बाबा इज इन फैक्ट मसाजिंग आवर फीट नाउ वॉट इज बाबा सेइंग यू स्टे इन हैप्पीनेस वेर एज आई स्टे इन द लैंड ऑफ निर्वाणा आई डू नॉट हैव एनी पार्ट एट दैट टाइम मीनिंग इन द गोल्डन एंड सिल्वर एजेस बाबा सेज यू हैव प्लेड ऑल राउंड पार्ट्स एंड सो यू आर द वंस हु आर टायर्ड that is why it is written that god massaged your feet the father says children you must be tired you have been performing devotion for half a cycle and stumbling around from door to door by wandering around on the path of devotion you have become tired and so the father comes and gives you the return by making you worshipers become worthy of worship what is baba doing Baba says by wandering around on the path of devotion you have become tired and so the father comes and gives you the return by making you worshipers become worthy of worship you know that you were worthy of worship and that you have now become worshipers it isn't that god is worthy of worship and then he becomes a worshiper no we become that what is baba saying it isn't that god is worthy of worship and then becomes a worshipper no we become that bharat is remembered as an imperishable land bharat is the birthplace of shiv baba people sacrifice themselves for their birthplace look how much the congress party beat their heads to regain their birthplace they chased away the foreigners this birthplace was heaven then maya the five vices came and swallowed it we consider ravan to be a great enemy no one understands that maya ravan who has eaten up our kingdom is the greatest enemy of all what does no one understand baba says no one understands that maya ravan who has eaten up our kingdom is the greatest enemy of all she blows in an incognito way like a mouse and then bites so that no one knows Baba is now liking Maya to a mouse. Baba says she blows in an incognito way like a mouse and then bites you so that no one knows. By biting you in that way, she has made you completely bankrupt. No one knows that she snatched away your kingdom. No one knows that she snatched away your fortune of the kingdom. No one knows who their enemy is or how they became poverty stricken. Maya is a big mouse by biting you for half a cycle she has made bharat worth a shell she is very powerful you are now quietly conquering her you know how you are claiming your kingdom back in an incognito way what do we know baba says you know how you are claiming your kingdom back in an incognito way just as you lost it in an incognito way so you are claiming it back in an incognito way no one knows this but you now have to conquer her this is such a deep secret we are once again claiming our fortune of the kingdom with baba's help we do not use our hands or feet we are claiming our inheritance from the unlimited father in an incognito way and that will then continue for half a cycle Maya the mouse bites you very slowly but you now claim a kingdom for 21 births in one go the secret of 84 births has also been explained to you you take this many births you know that your life span is very long in the golden age then when you become impure and indulge in sensual pleasures you take 63 births in the copper and iron ages Baba sits here and explains this. Maya takes away our kingdom in this way every cycle and we then claim it back from her. It is sung in the song, from which land have you come and to which land do you have to go back? However, people don't understand this. You know from which land you souls have come and why you have come. 
you have the whole cycle in your intellects in the whole drama shiv baba has the hero heroine part baba asks us who are the actors with shiv baba he first gives birth to brahma and shankar and then to you children you are the father's helpers the father plays his part and goes back to his land and he also takes you his helpers to the land of liberation with him you will go to the land of liberation and you will then go to the land of liberation in life you should keep this in your intellects very clearly so this is a world of dreams which became the past you know that the deities used to reside in the golden and silver ages they no longer exist the song has such a deep meaning how you are sitting with the world of dreams in your intellects and how the whole cycle turns baba says we also have the knowledge that baba has only the unlimited father has all of this unlimited knowledge you children know that this will also become a dream this is something to be understood and explained these things are not in anyone's intellect in the golden and silver ages you continue to receive deep points the whole cycle should remain in your intellects what is the path of devotion and when does it begin there has been no benefit through that by performing devotion people have only incurred a loss what is baba saying by performing devotion people have only incurred a loss you are now becoming like diamonds from shells maya makes you worth shells baba teaches you the dance of knowledge you will then go and dance there these are very wonderful things and worth knowing the customs and systems of this place don't exist there at all that is a voiceless world there is no name or trace of maya there meaning in the golden age baba says first of all remember baba and claim your inheritance however whatever the customs and systems of that place are they will continue there the customs and systems there will all be new there won't be these festivals there here there is unhappiness and this is why they celebrate festivals so what is baba giving us the reason for celebrating festivals baba says here there is unhappiness and this is why they celebrate festivals the customs and systems in the golden age will all be new there every day is a celebration there is no need to cry there there is no question of celebrating a festival there every day is a big day for us marriages there also take place with a lot of splendor the bride receives a dowry she also receives maids and servants however there is no need for any festivals etc these are the festivals of the confluence age which are celebrated on the path of devotion there there is constant happiness acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father pap dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and we the spiritual children also say namaste to our spiritual father today's essence for dharna has two points the first point spin the discus of self realization and gain victory over maya in an incognito way become knowledgeful like the father the second point know the father accurately as he is and what he is and remember him as a point form baba says know the father accurately as he is and what he is and remember him as a point form become a point and stay in the remembrance of the father a point don't be innocent today's blessing may you be constantly tireless and free from bondage by performing every act while considering it to be doing service according to the father's directions let's hear the blessing once again on tuesday 15th august 23 that is independence day baba says may you be constantly tireless and free from bondage by performing every act while considering it to be doing service 
according to the father's directions. Baba explains, look after your family while considering that to be doing service, not considering it to be some bondage. The father has given you directions to settle your karmic accounts with yoga. You know that that is a bondage, but by repeatedly saying it or thinking about it, it becomes even stronger. Then, in the final moments, if you only remember that bondage, you will have to go into the jail of a womb. Therefore, never distress by yourself or become trapped or compelled by anything. Continue to perform every act as a game and you will remain tireless and become free from bondage. Finally, the slogan for today, become an image of tapasya and sit in the cottage of your forehead. This is introversion. Slogan once again, become an image of tapasya and sit in the cottage of your forehead. This is introversion. Acha Om Shanti.